Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Z. Today, we've got some breaking news that has caught the attention of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. NASA has just issued a warning about an impending massive solar storm headed towards Earth. But before we dive into the details, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all things space-related. Now, let's get into it. A massive solar storm recently gave rise to a fire canyon on the sun, showcased in a striking animation from NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. In April 2022, the solar wind reached Earth, and on August 9, another surge of charged particles bombarded our planet following a solar flare. Traveling at a speed of 600 kilometers per second, 372 miles per second, these particles struck Earth's magnetosphere, resulting in auroras visible across the United States, from Maine to New York. Scientists note our fortunate outcome this time but emphasize the potential catastrophe of a stronger solar storm instead of a captivating celestial display. In history, solar storms have proven devastating at least twice. As our sun approaches maximum activity, there is an increasing chance of another intense plasma outburst. What impact did past solar flares have on Earth? And is there a threat to Earth's annihilation as our star reaches its 2023 peak? When the Sun releases a stream of highly energetic particles that can no longer be held by gravity, solar wind is generated. These solar winds are believed to originate from coronal holes, large dark areas on the star. While the highest energy particles can travel the same distance in about two minutes, coronal mass ejections can reach Earth in two to six days despite the vast Sun-Earth distance. The planet's magnetic field directs most particles toward the poles, with a small portion entering the atmosphere, emitting rays upon colliding with gas molecules and causing atoms to emit light. Periodically, the sun flares with energy equivalent to 10 to the power of 25 joules, or millions of 1 megaton hydrogen bombs. Such solar storms propel plasma through space twice as fast as usual, overwhelming Earth's magnetic field, either penetrating or severely deforming it. This leads to the formation of geomagnetic storms, the most potent capable of causing catastrophic events. On September 2, 1859, British astronomer Richard Carrington observed a massive solar flare. Eighteen hours later, Earth experienced one of the strongest geomagnetic storms on record. Telegraph poles were set ablaze, and telegraphs across Europe and North America ceased functioning. While humanity recovered relatively swiftly, electricity played a smaller role in culture than it does today. In March 1989, a powerful solar storm plunged the entire Canadian province of Quebec into darkness for 12 hours. Even though the solar explosion wasn't exceptionally strong, a similar incident of Carrington's magnitude could be disastrous. Recent assessments suggest solar storms of this size occur more frequently than previously believed, challenging the notion of once-in-a-century events. The Sun follows an approximately 11-year cycle of peak activity, during which charged particles are directed toward Earth. Analyzing variations in Earth's magnetic field reveals that the most significant solar explosions coincide with notable spikes in geomagnetic activity. Scientists have identified two hazardous event categories for Earth, strong magnetic superstorms occurring approximately every three years, affecting weather-dependent individuals' health, and devastating megastorms occurring roughly every 25 years. Despite the absence of megastorms in the last two decades, scientists anticipate their return. In 2012, a potentially hazardous solar outburst occurred, but Earth was spared as the solar wind blew in a different direction. The precise consequences of a future massive solar flare remain unknown, but predicted effects include bright auroras, with a specific type called Strong Thermal Emission Velocity Enhancement Steve, observed during the August 2022 geomagnetic storm. Steve, appearing as purple and occasionally white luminous ribbons, may be more than a celestial display. Scientists suggest it could be accompanied by a massive storm severely disrupting satellites, power grids, electronic and aviation equipment, communications, and even underwater online communication cables. This could lead to a global internet outage lasting several months or longer, with estimated damages reaching trillions of dollars. 
while the absence of lights, computers, and televisions may seem inconsequential compared to other potential consequences like droughts, floods, earthquakes, and tsunamis, these natural disasters are often linked to solar storms. Observations indicate increased earthquake frequency during periods of high and fluctuating solar activity. The 2004 magnitude 9.1 earthquake in Indonesia, causing a devastating tsunami and claiming over 283,000 lives, serves as a notable example. To mitigate the catastrophic effects of solar storms, scientists stress the need for a warning system. Various spacecraft, such as the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory SOHO, and the Solar Dynamics Observatory SDO, monitor the Sun, providing data for timely alerts. As the Sun approaches its 11-year activity peak, these observations become crucial. Yet, there remains a possibility of a strong geomagnetic storm hitting Earth during the Sun's quiet period, as evidenced by ancient ice samples from Greenland and Antarctica dating back 9,200 years, revealing evidence of a solar storm during that time. Governments worldwide prioritize space weather forecasts to avoid being caught off guard. NASA's Parker Solar Probe, launched as the closest spacecraft to the Sun, facilitates quicker detection of coronal emissions. Data from the probe aids scientists in accurately tracking the area of a storm's formation on the Sun and potentially predicting its path. Additionally, the 2020 launch of NASA and the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter probe contributes valuable information about the Sun's activity. Researchers explore ways to defend Earth from space, with the National Institute for Fusion Science in Japan developing an artificial geomagnetic field project. The project aims to strengthen Earth's geomagnetic field by launching 12 superconducting rings around the planet, compensating for the 10% loss over the past 150 years. However, alternative protective measures may not be necessary, as NASA's space missions reveal an artificial energy barrier surrounding Earth, created by the interaction of very low-frequency radio waves with cosmic particles. Detected using Van Allen probes, this barrier extends almost precisely to the inner edge of the Van Allen radiation belts, protecting against charged solar wind particles. Solar storms are not uncommon, but the size and intensity of the upcoming one have caught the attention of NASA and other space agencies worldwide. The Sun goes through cycles of increased and decreased solar activity, and it seems we're heading towards a period of heightened activity. Just recently, NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory detected a significant increase in solar activity, indicating the likelihood of a powerful solar storm. Scientists at NASA's Space Weather Prediction Center have been closely monitoring the situation, and they're advising us to be prepared for potential impacts here on Earth. We are currently observing a surge in solar activity, with a substantial increase in the number and intensity of solar flares. While solar storms are a natural part of the sun cycle, the upcoming one is expected to be particularly strong. We are urging people to stay informed and take necessary precautions. Now, you might be wondering, what could be the potential impacts of this massive solar storm? Well, experts suggest that there could be disruptions to satellite communications, GPS systems, and even power grids. Imagine a world without your GPS navigation or the internet, it's essential to be aware of the potential consequences. It's not all doom and gloom, though. NASA and other space agencies are working diligently to monitor the situation and provide timely updates. Emergency response teams are preparing for possible disruptions, and advancements in technology have allowed us to better predict and mitigate the effects of solar storms. In the 1960s, when low-frequency communications were less prevalent, the inner edge of the Van Allen radiation belt was much closer to Earth's surface. The present artificial energy barrier appears to have altered this boundary, safeguarding the planet from potential harm. Whether this shield can protect humanity from the most frightening solar storms remains uncertain. Alternatively, researchers and experts explore more reliable strategies to defend against potential negative effects of these solar outbursts. As we keep a close eye on the developments, it's crucial for all of us to stay informed and take necessary precautions. Make sure to follow official updates from NASA and other space agencies. And of course, we'll be here to keep you updated on any further developments. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more space-related content. Until next time, stay curious and keep looking up.